This is Faculty Focus from Fairleigh Dickinson University. This episode features Dr. Glenina Haynes-Smith, Associate Professor in the School of Nursing. Dr. Haynes-Smith works with the United Nations as an FDU representative consulting on global health issues. She also served as a U.S. Army officer in Iraq. No, the past few years, it has become increasingly a problem. Um, we're living longer, we have the advances of technology, and um, we have uh, cr more chronic conditions. So uh, putting all those together, it's increasing the nursing shortage. At Fairleigh Dickinson University, we have an undergraduate nursing program. It's a, we have a four-year nursing program, then we have a nursing program for uh, individuals who have uh, a degree in another field who would like to become nurses. At the graduate level, we have um, a nursing education program, and we also have a program that, prov that um, produces nurse practitioners. Uh, along with that, we have a doctoral nursing program. So we have several programs that can uh, increase the, the nursing workforce. NGO is a non-governmental organization, and it al allows um, the university to have special consultative status to the United Nations, and this has um, allow the, the faculty at Fairleigh Dickinson University to be members of committees at the United Nations. Healthcare is a basic human right. The problem with, with um, the human rights is that in many countries it is not regarded as a human right, especially in the developing countries. And so um, the United Nations is, is very involved in ensuring that individuals have access to, to health care, and that's one of the big problems, and that's um, where we're having the greatest difficulty. These people are not getting the health care that they need. It, uh, the, the problem also is that some of the, um, the countries, they do, they, there's a gender bias, and as uh, typically, nurses are predominantly female. So when um, you think of the gender bias and, and, and nurses being predominantly female, they are very marginalized. I think the American public is aware of the physical injuries and most of the physical injuries, but I, I don't think the American public is aware of this, the long-term psychological injuries that the American servicemen and women uh, encountered. Uh, the, these uh, the psychological um, damage stay with, with, with us for years and years and end. Um, I'll give you a, a situation. I was sitting uh, um, just yesterday, sitting um, watching uh, a game, and a, a motorcycle backfired. And I jumped. Um, but I looked around and nobody else moved. I was the only one who was affected by it, and this is four years after I have returned. So the, the psychological damage, it goes on for a, a quite a long time. But nursing is one, one of those professions that um, it, it always, even though there are difficult times, we, we have um, individuals who die and we feel sad. But most of the time, we, you have a sense of personal satisfaction just bringing some, uh, a, a child, an elderly person, an adult back to health. And uh, that personal satisfaction brings, uh, takes you from one day to the next. <laughs>